Thank you very much. <laughs> um, I was just thinking as I was more of you than expected. If I just stood up here, I got so nervous that I didn't say anything. <laughs> and how weird that would be for all of you and for me. <laughs> and that has to do something with my talk, so I got excited. I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, anyways, I want you guys to take a minute. Awkward situations, things that you do but that you have to do, maybe not every day, but on a regular basis. Like, I don't know, maybe going to the post office to mail something off, and you have to stand there in line for like 30 minutes, <laughs> and you just sit there, oh, wasting so much of my time. I thought this would take two minutes, but I have to stand here forever. Or you know, maybe something that does take a definite amount of time, like getting on the elevator with in the library, I don't know. And how stupid you feel sometimes, especially if you're having a bad day to begin with. You feel awkward and alone and maybe a little frustrated and flustered. And we can do to change them. So I was in and I had to stand in line to get my visa I could stay in the country. I hadn't been there for very long. I didn't know very much Spanish, but I was learning pretty quickly. And as I was sitting in line, I noticed that obviously I was different from everyone else. Um, I had blue eyes and lighter colored hair than most of the people in line. And obviously they knew I was there. I was like the elephant in the room. On top of it, I had a badge that said my name on it. Oh, nobody ceiling or to their left or their right or move their foot around on the floor and paid attention to the fact that I exist in a particularly depressive person or if I had just been kind of sad at the time I would have felt really awful <laughs> even as it was I felt really awkward and alone and by the time I got to the front of the line it, it took a good 20 minutes at least um, I noticed that the girl next to me was also very different. She had bright blonde hair, green, and I thought the same way I do right now. And, so and by the time we, we left, I felt like she was my friend. Of course, I never saw her, but I found out that she was there to work and that she didn't speak Spanish either, but we were able to talk enough amongst each other and as I left, I wasn't as excited about receiving my passport with the visa in it. <laughs> it was to have felt like I was a part of humanity for a minute. So sometimes, you know, this, the world is small. You know, there's the Disney song that we won't sing. <laughs> and when you get out there, sometimes you just feel like it's so huge and that you're so small and you feel so alone. And I think that breaks people can change that and we can make a new kind of social network which is really not that <laughs> actually talk to real human beings <laughs> so another example is the other day I was pulling up to an elementary ed teacher and this hobo <laughs> and he wouldn't move kind of stood Of course, I'm not ugly, and so I, I felt kind of. <laughs> and I tried to fix the floor, and I looked at him, and so I decided that I would talk to him and just act like everything was cool. Didn't want to do anything. He just talked about and where he was from, where he was going, how he felt about life, about vitamin D. And by the I knew he was a person, just a bum. Just 
<laughs> I don't anymore. I guess my challenge is to talk to strangers. You're not three anymore, so <laughs> you don't really have to worry as much. Of course, I mean, obviously, the post office, or when you're in that elevator, and there's a hobo. Be afraid of these people around you, because I feel like we are sometimes. I feel like we're afraid. And <laughs> all to go make the world, and then it really is a small world. <laughs> Thank you. That's my idea worth spreading.